good morning student today we are going to learn about differential pulse code modulation and the short form is dpcm after the completion of today's session you are able to define differential pulse code modulation explain the operation of transmitter and receiver of dpcm so why dpcm is used in place of pcm as we know when we convert a continuous time signal into samples there we can observe that samples of a signal are highly correlated with each other this is due to the fact that generally signal does not change fast means values from present sample to next sample does not vary by a large amount the adjacent samples of the signal carry the same information or with a little difference okay when these samples are encoded by a pcm system the resulting encoded signal contains some redundant information means repetitive information let's see this diagram in this diagram dotted line represent the continuous time signal okay this dotted line this signal is sampled by flat top sampling at interval ts 2ts 3ts 4ts like this up to nts and the uh, top of the samples are flat because of that we mention it as flat top sampling okay then the sampling frequency is selected higher than nyquist rate means fs is always greater than equal to 2 fm and the nyquist rate is fs equal to 2 fm so here we select fs greater than 2 fm here the samples are encoded by using 3 bits here you can see 1 1 0 1 so 3 bit are used the sample is quantized to the nearest digital level so this one are the levels to which the samples are compared okay then here we can observe that the samples taken at 4ts 5ts and 6ts means here okay are encoded to same value that is 110 here are the three samples okay having same values that is 110 this information can be carried only by one sample but three samples are carrying the same information means that it is redundant if this redundancy is reduced then overall bit rate will decrease this type of digital pulse modulation is called as differential pulse code modulation or dpcm so the dpcm works on the principle of prediction the value of the present sample is predicted from past sample the prediction may not be exact but it is very close to the actual sample value okay next is the dpcm transmitter so this is the theory part this one is the block diagram of transmitter so the sample signal is denoted by x of nts so this block first block of this block diagram is sample means sampler here we give 
the input signal x of t to the sampler sampler by satisfying the condition f is greater than equal to 2 fm sample the input signal and at the output the sampler we get our samples and that sampled signal is denoted as x of nts and predicted signal is denoted by x cap nts this one is the prediction filter and the output of the prediction filter is denoted as x cap nts the comparator finds out the difference between the actual sample value that is x of nts and predicted sample value that is x cap nts means this one here it is used as a comparator and it find out the difference between x of nts minus x cap nts okay this is known as prediction error and it is denoted by e of nts so we can say that e of nts equal to x of nts minus x cap nts okay then the predicted value is produced by using a prediction filter so the prediction value is produced by this prediction filter the quantized signal is denoted as eq of nts as here we can see a quantizer is used so at the output of the quantizer we get our quantized signal so the quantized signal is denoted as eq of nts then the eq of nts and x cap nts is added here this one is the adder here we add the eq of nts means this one and x cap nts means this value is given here and this value is given here and here the both the signals are added and given as input to the prediction filter here the adder output is given as input to the prediction filter so the output of the adder signal is called x q of nts this makes the prediction more and more close to the actual sampled signal we can observe that the quantized error signal eq of nts is very small and can be encoded by using small number of bits thus number of bits per sample are reduced in this type of modulation technique means dpcm so after quantization we know that we denote a digital value to that quantized signal that digital values are given or mentioned using a encoder so encoder convert the signal to its respective digital values so the output of the encoder is transmitted to the receiver section next so this is the block diagram it consists of decoder prediction filter and one adder so the decoder first reconstruct the quantized error signal from incoming binary signal to the input of the decoder we give the received dpcm signal and from that dpcm signal decoder reconstruct the quantized error signal then the prediction filter output and quantized error signal are summed up to give the quantized version of the original signal so here we get the 
quantized version of the original signal. Thus, the signal at the receiver differs from actual signal by quantization error, which is introduced permanently in the reconstructed signal. So, this is all about DPCM. Thank you.